Hello. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for attending this presentation by the Spanish uh, Net Supercomputing Network, which is the, the network that gathers in Spain uh, the main uh, institutions about supercomputing. My name is uh, Jordi Mas. I am the, the RES, uh, the, the Network Project Officer. And uh, I will just explain to you about the, the offers, the, the opportunities that the Spanish supercomputing network offers you in order to have uh, HPC resources for your scientific research. I'm going to try in the next 15 uh, minutes to explain uh, about what is RES and what are we doing. And then uh, in the last five minutes, I will just open up for any questions you may have. Uh, if you have any questions or if you want to have my email, the, the, the email is here in the, in the screen so that you can write or ask or, or just connect us anytime, anytime you want. Uh, the rest, the, the network is, is just about providing services, HPC services for the Spanish scientific community. It was created in 2006. And the coordinator of the network is the Barcelona Supercomputing Center BSC. Uh, the, the RES is also a member of the Spanish, what's called Singular Scientific and Technical Infrastructure Network, which is a, a very important network since it gathers all large installations, large resources, facilities and services for research which are unique in its kind, and especially are devoted to the cutting edge and high quality research. And also, of course, technological development in, in, in the areas. But as well, we try to promote exchange, transmission and preservation of knowledge, technology transfer, and also innovation. Uh, the members right now, the members of the network are these uh, 12 institutions, as I said, coordinated by BSC, but also we have uh, different supercomputing centers in different areas in Spain, uh, Galicia, Cesga, Castilla y León, Skylet, Fenix, they are in Extremadura, and very recently Nasser Tig has just joined the network from Navarra. We also have uh, research institutions, the Instituto Astrofisica de Canarias, Astrophysics Institute in Spain, uh, BIFI, the, the Complex System and Biocomputation uh, Center in, in Zaragoza, Consorci de Serveis Universitarios de Catalunya, which offers also services to the scientific community, and also we have uh, universities, Universidad de Cantabria, Autónoma de Madrid, Universidad de Valencia y Universidad de Málaga that are right now the members of the of the network. Uh, well, as we said, we are really the, the Spanish national reference for HPC, providing services to the community, networking, uh, HPC users, also providing education and training about HPC, also helping the internationalization of the of the sector. We are we are members of many EU strategies programs, and so we, we, we are a gateway also for internationalization projects. We also are devoted to dissemination of HPC to our society, which is I have I may say it's not a, an easy task. And very recently, just very very recently we are uh, offering, we will offer in, in the next months or days, we will offering uh, big data projects in terms of data storage and data exploitation. Uh, I will just go over because you can see this also in the, in the website, but this is made up of uh, 13 Intel connected supercomputers with uh, a maximum or some about 13,000 uh, teraflops of computing power. This is the details of each supercomputer, which, well, maybe you, you just, if you are interested, yeah, yeah, just direct you to the website. And they are the, the ones showing the, the high, let's say, supercomputing power which is offered hmm, 
which is uh, available for uh, you as uh, in, uh, researchers in, 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 uh, in the bioscientist. Uh, so mainly uh, the RES is a, is a gateway, is an access gateway to many things. One of course is supercomputing facilities, which means free allocation of computing hours to researchers and to industry staff. Uh, but there's also other aspects of uh, the res as in, in the access mode, let's say. We also offer access to European supercomputing facilities because we participate in HPC Europe 3 European project, which opens up, uh, uh, let's say, grants the mobility, the travel and mobility of researchers to other uh, supercomputing facilities in Europe. We access to networking, to awareness, access to internationalization, access to knowledge and expertise by promoting, by sponsoring scientific seminars and meetings like the one you are, you are now, uh, access to training and skills development, and lately access also to business innovation. We divide in different areas, in different scientific areas. Uh, and of course, probably you will be more interested in the life and health sciences area, which is one of the six areas uh, which are divided our, our activity. Uh, we have uh, every year around more than six, uh, 600 million CP hours available, which they are in a competitive call uh, allocated to the different projects, to the different application projects. If you see here in orange, you see the applications for the biosciences, which means that probably in, in, in hours, they are not that big as compared to maybe astronomy or, or physics uh, projects, but uh, in the number of activities, in the number of projects, it's more or less similar. Uh, all this uh, computing time, all this facility, all this uh, opportunity is translated, of course, into outputs, into um, scientific papers. This, uh, for example, is the scientific papers in 2019. We had lately papers uh, by authors, by users of the, our supercomputing resources in nature, in science. And very shortly, I would just, just draw a little bit about the, the application process. The application process is you submit your application. There's a first formal evaluation, a technical evaluation of, of your activity, of your, pro, of your project. Then the application goes through scientific expert panels that evaluate, uh, evaluate your proposal. And then finally, the access committee meets and finally reports the, the, the final accepted activities. The, the, the way to, to apply is very simple. You just go to our intranet, to the, to the REST website. You just go through access in the menu. Uh, res intranet and then you get into a, a, a you just have to register yourself and then you create a, a new application yeah? very simple there are different forms uh, especially i just let me say that uh, there is a covid priority uh, fast lane let's say uh, which has been of course not set up lately because of the pandemic situation and uh, just to remind you that the deadline for this uh, period, for the next period, ends uh, September 17th. So just a few days, you can still have uh, some time if you want to apply for HPC resources, uh, applying to the REST uh, formula, formula no? here. Here you have the applications, very simple, very general information about the activity, the area, the type of application. Remember, we have a pre-reservation pre uh, type for those that are applying to European projects. Then just a brief description of the project. Mm -hmm. It's important also to mention uh, which funded projects you are, you are working in. Then some software and numerical libraries you will need for the computation uh, in the computers. And also a brief description of the of the IP, yeah, the, the, the IP of the team, and the different members and curriculum of the of the team leaders and different researchers that are forming part of the of the group. Yeah. Then you just select 
your preference in, in the machine you want to use, uh, resources, and then uh, finally uh, a kind of abstract, a kind of summary of your publication. I am running short of time, so I will just go quickly. This is a, a scheme. I mean, the, the, the application process is very easy. If you have any question, you just ask us and we'll, we'll help you. There's a user's uh, committee which helps and is the voice of the user. Um, we run a satisfaction survey uh, once in a while, which also provides some insight about the, 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 the I would say, the good perception and the quality of, of services that we provide. And, and just to finish some networking activities, uh, especially I would just uh, probably end here and let some minutes for questions if there are some. But uh, very, very, in very few days, we have also the, the 14th user conference that will go online, of course. It's, it's a free registration. If you are interested in HPC and HPC conferences, I just invite you to join to register. Uh, it is 16 and 17 of September. Huh? It is uh, in, in very few days. Here, in the, in, you can go to our web or you can go here and register. It's, it's, it's very simple. And uh, we have different seminars and, and, and I don't know, many things that uh, may be used to get into the ecosystem of APC, of APC either if you are a, a, a user uh, or you are just a novel user, it may be interesting for you to visit if you don't, if you don't know us. There's also this HPC, uh, HPC Europa mobility program that may be also interested you. And uh, just uh, to end, I will just show you that uh, we will start, we, will, we are going to start the data management and storage services, which of course may be of interest in the near future for your activities. I just want to thank you for your attention. And if you want to follow us in our updates, we have this website and we, you can subscribe to our net newsletter, but especially also follow us in Twitter or use, use this, any of these uh, email addresses to, to, to join us, whatever you are interested. So I will, this is now it is 123. So I think that I made it fast at the end, but probably leaving some minutes if you have, uh, if you really want to uh, ask anything or any question I want, I may answer you. If not, please uh, use any of the channels to contact us and uh, we will just, uh, you know, we will just support your research, which is exactly our mission in, 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 this, in this activity. So I'm going to just uh, stop here sharing my presentation and uh, I will leave something like five minutes uh, for questions and answers uh, if you have some. Hmm? There are some questions here. I, I'll try to, I'll try to, well, well yeah, Bilalba Silva is asking me about the next uh, workshops courses. I just, you know, forward you to the website, which uh, we will, I will, I will, they will exactly explain when. The, the next one, especially the next one is uh, next week, uh, 16, 17 uh, September, which is uh, free, free registration. I just, uh, you know, invite you to join us uh, now, just after the, the talk, go to our website and, and you will, okay, thanks to you. Uh, Hendrik is asking me about uh, is the free allocation of services also available to be uh, outside the European area? Well, this is a good question. Um, normally, this is a service for for uh, for European countries, for European researchers, since it is uh, public money. But uh, there is also some possibilities, especially to apply for the Europa HPC. Uh, program, which is this is open for uh, researchers outside Europe. There is a percentage of people that can apply, and I I I would direct you to this program, which uh, besides having 
the time you will have some money to travel uh, to different places. So uh, check HPC Europe 3 program also in our website and uh, you can apply that. Uh, Jose Maria Fernandez is asking me about uh, container technology uh, or similar. Good questions, Jose Maria, but I, I am not probably so familiar with this technical question. I will, what I will try is to, to if you can, if you want to send us an email, I will forward that to our support system, to our technical department, which of course will, uh, will answer you with this uh, question. Huh? Uh, Claudio Diaz, is, are you thinking about giving voucher for new users? It's a very good question. So we are really planning to open up, uh, let's say, courses for, for new users because I understand probably as you think no, that, that, the, that the barrier to access HPC, if you are not familiar with HPC, it's so huge that you need some help for that. Uh, for sure in the future, eh, we, will, we will be going, we will be, let's say, giving some very basic uh, the, uh, workshops or information or courses for, for those novel users. This is very important, Claudio, because also we are right now, and I forgot to, to it was a short time, the, we are right now um, running a new project because uh, the res members will be the Spanish National Competence Center for HPC, which we, is just started September 1st. And so we will be thinking about uh, novel users in our, in our project. But I will please keep, uh, keep connected, keep looking in our website and our information channels to see these this new uh, ideas. Uh, Salvador was asking about, uh, about the, data, the data network. Salvador, very good question, but I cannot say anything more about the data network because this is going to start next week and, and the final details have not been set up. But you will be, as a researcher, be, you will be able to apply for a, what's called a, a data project in the res, which means that uh, you can store, you can just uh, you know, process your data within the, within the, the members of the network. But please just wait one week more and, and probably the, the call for the data projects in the rest will be open. That's really an important, uh, an important moment, an important feature to just understand that we are joining computing power together with data storage and data management, which also provides, let's say, both parts of the, of the, of the success, let's say. No? Uh, Sergi is asking me about, sorry, I'm going to try to uh, the, connect it to other European research networks. Well, yes, Sergi, we are in fact members also, not the RES itself, but BSC itself, of course, is member of all the European research networks, uh, especially PRAISE, especially PRAISE and others uh, in, 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 in Europe. Hmm? And then I think that I just answer all the, uh, exactly. Uh, Claudio is just, you know, I, am, I totally agree with you, Claudio, that uh, there's a special need for, for young and, and, and new novel researchers coming from bio backgrounds, which need some help in, in really trying to jump, you know, to cross this barrier that offers maybe the, the, the perception of, of a difficult thing of APH, HPC. But I, I, don't, I think that we will, we will, you know, we will manage to run programs for, for novel users, which is also a, a necessity and a, an important issue in, in our lives. Well, I think that uh, we're running uh, just out of time because the organizers told me to be sharp on time. So, uh, now it's uh, 1.30 and exactly, uh, exactly the time to leave. And just to thank you for your attendance and please contact us, contact the rest for anything. Thank you and bye-bye.